Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and we just got rocket science uh, happening means meaning we, we launched a rocket last um, in the last episode and this kind of marks a transition point. In fact, often I will delay launching the rocket because it kind of feels like the end of the game for me. Um, and, but we have a separate goal with this particular playthrough, which is to construct a mega base. So now we're kind of in that we've already started a little bit of that planning by uh, thinking, okay, where are we going to have our next green circuit array? Uh, how's that going to look like? We're going to start. So, so what we usually do is this, right? So when you get to a mega base, you're going to be outposting everything. So instead of just mines like we have here, we're going to have green circuits outposted, red circuits, blue circuits, steel, uh, iron plates, all of that stuff is outside of the main bus base. We completely leave this base behind and maybe we save it for just for making modules or something like that. And the mall, usually usually we leave the mall and the modules still running. Um, but as far as science is going to be concerned, we're going to make all that stuff elsewhere. Now we're going to have science running while we get that going but the the path to making a mega base is a huge 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 undertaking and a big project now there's a couple of stages in that as i usually oh my goodness my cat is trying to delete her bed cat what are you doing what are you doing emma she's looking at me and not responding hello what do you need here let me pick you up and pat you pat you pat the cat all right i'm patting the cat so i can't do the mouse stuff oh oh okay okay we're leaving we're leaving that's fine it is fine okay so anyway um so there's a couple of processes that i like to uh do or there's a couple of stages of that process so the first stage is getting outposts running that are making a thing without needing modules right that's kind of an annoying thing. Now, where, where did these Spider-Trons go? Oh, they're over here still. Okay. Let's take these guys and kind of go into another... I'll, I'll, I'll try to kill stuff while we talk. So the first stage is making outposts for things you need desperately. Like right now, we really need green chips, red chips, and blue chips. So I have a few blueprints that do not need modules, and those are the ones we're going to work with first. Now, ideally, you want to get modules made ASAP because they increase your productivity, which is basically free resources. Uh, productivity is free resources that are uh, just, they come from magic, basically. <laughs> That's the magic in Factorio is productivity modules. Uh, where you don't, where it's not speed, it's just magically, You, I, I guess it could be looked at as using resources more efficiently to get extra product. Okay, Kat, would you like to go in? Here, look, look, what if I did this? Are you happy with this? Yeah, you want to go inside? There you go. Yeah, no? Yes, proceed? No. Oh, okay, whoops, 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 whoops. Let's finish off this base. I didn't even see that there. Cat distracted me slightly. Okay, very good, very good. Ah, okay, very, okay, now cat is on top of the bed. Cat is fairly indecisive, I think, with these things. Let's try to go around these things here. All right, there we go. Let's see how that works. I kind of like this better pathing because I realized later that like by going back and forth, they might be getting into some of the um, spitter goo that's on the ground, which is definitely not ideal. Can they reach that one? Yes. Nice. Okay, perfect. So that looks good. Now we're going to let's go stop over there for a second. Um, so anyway, you do this kind of intermediate stage where it's not like full mega base production yet because you don't have the modules for that yet. And you really need those to get the actual, like when you're talking about science per minute, you really need that stuff uh, to be in place. But you don't have that production until you have the production. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's a building uh stage basically and you have to make many many millions of circuits to get there so let's just go there slow down for a second this might be okay there's a lot of trees here that might block the pollution from over here so i'm gonna just try to uh are we good everything's fine good everything is repaired that's the most important part so let's go over here then and start killing these bases around this area Actually, we can do, let's just do a thing over here. 
Let's go around. And then go here to safety. Okay. And then I'm going to take this uh, spider tron that I'm in. And we are going to just... We need to walk down to where we need to construct stuff. And then... I guess we go just go straight down, straight down. It should be safe enough. By the time we get down there, the other Spider-Trons should have killed this area. And I'm hoping just to kind of go around and kill that one as well. Cat. Emma. Emma. Look. Look. Go inside. It's fun in here. This cat is trying to get her head underneath her little bed and, and, and look underneath it. And I'm like, there's nothing under there. It's just a table. <laughs> you know, there's nothing under the bed. Nothing under her little cat bed. Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. There the cat finally got in and she's no longer destroying. It's a it's a woolen cat bed that's kind of like a pocket kind of thing. So she can climb in there. But what she does is because the bed kind of like collapses and it's a little bit flat when, when she sits on top of it. Of course it's flat. Um, she tends to like scratch at the top and ends up kind of pulling the wool out and kind of destroying it slightly. Um, instead of, cause, and I think she's trying to pull it upward so that she can get inside. So that's what I do is when I'm talking to her and stuff, I'm just like pulling it upward and, uh, you know, opening the pocket so that she can get in. Cause she's kind of, um, oh, I need to wait. I think that's the main problem is maybe my spider trons need to wait and get information better. Maybe that's why the first one takes so much damage. All right, things are going well. Good, good, good. Okay. Let's go and rest over here for a second. Get some, uh, there we go, repairs done. Perfect. All right, I think on very long journeys, I need to make sure that they can stop and get in formation again. Because I think that's part of the problem why the front one is taking so much damage is the rest of them are not able to provide the cover fire and stuff like that and kill stuff on time. Yeah, that's definitely not ideal. And here we can just go over there, I think. Okay, very good. Very, very good. Now we're going to go into this biter territory over here. Lots of worms over here. Oh boy, this is a whole, whole nice colony over here. Yeah, there we go. But it'll be nice when we get the artillery uh, because that is going to be a nice um, thing that we can do a little bit further away, from further away, I should say. All right, let's, uh, I'm going to heal up here um, and then we can kill those as they're coming along. Yeah, behemoth biters are already at our door, which is definitely not ideal. Holy fuzzy <coughs> cats, this is a huge colony. This is a big colony. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, we are seeing some iron ore, which is very nice, though. Oh, that one got missed. All right. Only 30 million out there, though, so that's not great. How are we doing? I think we're okay. After that, let's go over this way and then stop over there. I want to skip this one for now. Oh, not that one. Actually, I am in, I am, I'm in position. I'm in position of doing stuff. Okay. So this definitely needs to be healed. Let's check on my position. Okay. And so we have this really nice area of stuff. If we look at our blueprints here, we do have, um, let's see, production, end game bot outpost. And we probably don't want to do this right now. We definitely want to do the end game stuff and I have some fancy things. Okay. So here's beaconed circuits and this is a big, uh, beaconed circuits, crazy ass setup, which is amazing. Uh, we could actually do that. I love, so I, I included some of these in the blueprint book because they're just like amazing, crazy constructions that I have made in the past and they are just fabulous. They look, they're fun and they're fabulous and they're like all in one kind of solutions here for stuff. Now this one, uh, it takes both iron and coal or no iron and, um, 
I think it takes iron and... Does it smelt both? No, I think it only smelts one of them. Hold on. Really? Let's look at the trains over here if we can see. I can't see. No, they, it only takes one in. Oh dear. So that so this this thing only smelts one of them, and then the other has to be brought in, which is interesting. Um, we may not want to do that. We or we could just kind of copy part of that one over. I'm kind of tempted to use some of these. I don't know how you feel about that because, like for me, it's like oh, this is a cool thing that I've made in the past. But um, we could do something different. You know, we could do something different. What, what am I looking at here? End game bot. No, no. Late game. End game belts. Why is that organized so weirdly? Okay, so this is plate trains. Uh, which is basically, this is a single plate thing. You can use it either for copper or iron. This one is for steel. This is a, this is the green circuit outpost we were talking about just now. Um, blue circuits, greens. This is another green circuit uh, thing that we can do for, um, wait, did I not? I didn't put the thingies there. Oh no. The markers that show what go on each belt. That's not good. Um, blue circuits, and these are just regular beaconed furnace -y things over here. So we could use the belt one, or we could use the botted one. I kind of like the belt one, uh, but we would have to add some smelting out here for sure. Okay, this one, let's just take this one around again, and we'll just do some... So I'm kind of, huh, what do we want to do here? Because the, the belted one is also moduled. It is also moduled. Um, I think what we should do maybe is set up smelting. I think that's what we want to do is set up some smelting here. What we do want, though, is we want to have, when we set up our smelting, we need to have the ability to bring in more stuff as well. So let's see what we got here. Beacon smelting. Ah, this is what we want, really. Beacon smelting like this. Um, so we can have one outpost actually for iron, right? We could even put it there because it doesn't interfere with the the patch at all. Can have this one here, and those those things can align to go into the smelters the same as the the patch will do. And then this one can do the same kind of thing from here. Should we do it here, maybe? And that smelting can go off to the right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do this, something like that. All right, we're going to go and build these uh, stations now. All right, and meanwhile, while that's happening, we will take our... Now, we should be healed up on the Spider-Trons by now. Ah, and now let's change out our legs here for these guys, personal roboports. And I guess we have one more laser there. That's fine, too. And this is really where the Spidertrons shine, because they can build the entire station, and they don't need anything else. And the train can just come here. And so if you want to stay in the base, you can just stay in the base, send your Spidertron out, and have it build all this stuff already. Now, oops, do I have red? I mean, do I have? Yeah, I do have those belts already. Nice. So what, what we want to do, make sure first you build the building train station. Okay? Because the building train station is going to be able to build, bring us more supplies. And that's the important thing, I think, here is to get those supplies going. So we're going to stay kind of in this area so that the bots don't go too far away. Let's see what we can do here with stuff. Oh, no, not that, not that. How do I... Shoot, I forgot to see how far my my building is. Darn it. Anyway, we're going to build all this stuff first. Okay, so Spidertrons are doing well. We are healing this one up. Wow, I'm glad I checked on it because it's not done repairing yet. Okay, very good. 
So then, let's see, I guess we can go down here. This area is really dangerous because there's no trees at all to prevent pollution. Just a tiny bit over here. Maybe this one is going to need to be destroyed as well. For now, let's go on this side and kind of check out what is in this area. Oh, I thought this was the ocean. It's not. It's definitely not. So we're going to collect our Spidertrons here and then move in after that. Okay, so now let's take this um, Spidertron here. Let's rename the station. This is going to be building... Uh, oh, I didn't put the icon here. What's wrong with me? No. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, building... Uh, GC iron. GC one iron, I think this is what we're going to call it. I like this idea. Um, and I'm going to put in iron as in the iron ore. So we know what to deliver here. Okay, let's copy this. Actually, I copy not the building part. Copy. Okay, go. And then this, this stuff... Now, we don't necessarily need both train stations to be here, but eventually we might actually need them. Um, this is, oh, that's pickup. That's right. This is, we may not need the pickup at all. In fact, this is going to be the drop off. This is going to be GC iron drop off. Okay, so that's great. That is perfect. And then we're going to just go down here, get this stuff organized, and then call the building train and have it do stuff. Okay, so it's going to building or one, building or two, building uranium, and then it can go down here. Go down here. And we might we might just do one building train area because we can probably connect this all in the same RoboPort group. And I think that would be just fine. Um, add weight condition and activity in time past. Okay. And us, let's go over here and build the second train station. And then we'll connect the rails up properly so we can get here. But I think, I don't, I don't think we actually need the second building train station. I think we can just cut it off. We don't need this. It's going to be fine. We only need the one, one for this area. It's not necessary to have more than one. Okay, I'm going to try to do this from on high. See if we can get this happening to do this. I hope this is going to work. I hope they're going to build this. Let's see what they build after this kind of, like, I'm trying to just, like, do many kind of, like, walking around a lot and that kind of thing. And let's move over there and see how much they end up building. So, uh, all right. So here's our other Spider-Trons, the Killy Spider-Trons. Let's go and check out those and see how they are functioning, if at all. Okay, go there, please. Okay. We are getting hit quite a lot, especially with the spit. It's not great. It's definitely not great. But several of them are getting hurt. Not just the lead one. That's not good. This is really thick. Actually, oh, you know what? Let's go out there. Let's just evacuate. This is very scary. Let's go out there and just repair. Okay, so how much got done? Very little got done. This is not great. Ha! This is not great. I may just have to hold still or something. I'm not really sure why uh, this is placing the way it is placing or not placing as the case may be. Um, but yeah, we need to fix that a bit. All right, let's get this one here. And then we need to just definitely connect these and get a power pole here. Let's take this this way. Okay, there we go. All right, we have bots in this area already, which is fabulous. Now, is this train carrying? It's not carrying blue belts yet. That is, we need to fix that and change that in the base uh, because that needs to work, definitely. Okay, so let's take, uh, we need to get our, this thing connected. Okay, this can go there. And then have another one there. Okay. 
Ah, night. There we go. Okay, better. So now we can get stuff going on here a little bit better. Uh, it looks like we definitely need a, uh, a radar out here. Do I have radars on my collection list? It looks like maybe not. So let's get 50. Sure, 50 is enough. Thank you. And then take this out here. And see what else we can do over here. Actually, we probably should just focus on the rails. Um, that seems good. Take these this way. And then connect that. Connect this. And then... That. That's going to be interesting. Okay, no worries. We can fix it. So, uh, but any of these are not going to go into this parking lot or the shunting yard anyway, so it doesn't actually matter to have that there. Okay. We're just going to have to put in another... Wait, why doesn't this have a connection this way? Oh, dear. Oh, my. Yes, this is not good. All right, I have to get out of this spider tron right now and see if we can that is actually a mistake in the blueprint and that does not make me happy because i gotta go and fix it now all right it's okay though don't worry it will be fine it will be all kinds of fine all right and then this goes this way this goes that way all right seems good good fine Oh, wait. No, this is the main line. Ah, this is not good. The main line, they may need to go that way. Ah, well, we can fix that by doing something like this instead. Yep, that'll work. Okay, perfect. All right, that's fine. Very good. And then this one goes from that side. Yep, that's perfect. Very good, very good. All right. Train tracks are so versatile where you can connect things in, in quite a lot of ways. It's pretty handy. Now then, the other thing we need to do definitely is get this this mining let's get these mining things going on i don't know if we should bother with efficiency i guess we can um it's not really that necessary though let's see what we can do here with this okay All right, that's that. And I'll just trim this from goddess mode. So we don't need all of this, just some of it. Now there is the problem here of having some of this in blue belts and some of it in red. I think we just need to upgrade all of this to red, basically, or all of it to blue, and then change the building train to uh, requesting blues right now, because I think that's where we need to go with this right now. We're kind of at that point of transitioning right now. So let's take that there. We also need a long distance power pole out here. Okay, there we go. And that can be connected, I think. Is that connected to the... No, it's not connected to the main line, I guess. Oh, and this needs to be connected as well. Let's get these guys connected to the main line. Excellent. All right, very good. So that's going to get going. 
very very good and the so then we also need to take care of the other area which is here make sure that we are oh can we stop this building train oh wait what can't get back to the base why not i wonder um is there some break in the line here looking for the little purple no hmm okay let's let's change up the train real quick and let's take out these things and we need to change them into let's see all these are gonna be blue We can actually do this remotely. That's what I'm gonna do. So these are all our undergroundies. And then split redos. Hooray. Okay, there we go. So now let's go to here land. And we're going to be we need to delete all of these boxes. What I can do is copy these here put them where I am. Okay. And then, well, that's going to be a mess, but it's okay. We'll fix it over there. And then here, we're just going to delete all of those boxes so that they have time to take stuff out right now before we place the new boxes. Okay. Why is one of them not working? Erg. That's annoying. Okay. These for 50 or a hundred, I should say. Okay. Then these are 200. Okay, and these are going to be 500. Copy, paste, paste. Let's get rid of this one and just copy this one. I don't know how, if it would paste over the thingy. Okay, so we're going to uh, control X this, actually, because we don't need them here. And then we can put them here where they belong. There we go. Okay, so that's going to happen. And hopefully they will just empty out those boxes and put all that back in the system. Now I can put a lot of this stuff back into the, well, technically the bots at this station should be helping us, but we don't actually have any logistics bots. And I'm not really sure why that is. Um, it looks like maybe we need to figure out why they're not being made in the base. Hello, Logi bots. Oh, there's no red circuits. That's why. Mm. That ain't good. Oh my goodness. Ah, because we cut it off. Oh, that's bad of us. That's really bad. All right. Well, that will get fixed and we should get some more logic bots. I kept forgetting that we actually need some on the train um, to go to different stations and all that kind of stuff. Let's see where it can go. Let's see where the breakage in the line is. This is a good way to find it. You can just go along the line here and press control as if to designate a new station. Okay. So, so somewhere right here. Ah, that's bad. Okay. I see it. It is in, let's take our spider tron out here, wherever it's going to need to go here. I think we didn't, um, didn't look at that carefully enough. Unfortunately, let's see, those are lamps that need to be there. Let's just look in this view because somehow, I missed it. Those are, those are tracks. Wait, where did it, what, for, mm, let's go back to the, the train. Okay. Here. Up here, here, here. No, it's there right by this spotty area there. Okay. Let's take the builder spider tron up here and fix it. And Oh, wow. This is, it's hard to see because of that rock, but yeah, that's the rock. That would be the one <clears throat> messing us up. All right. So that's going to go as soon as it can. Let's get our, our other spider trons our killer spider trons and try to delete some more of these enemies now that they have healed up a bit and, and all that kind of stuff. 
this is really messy you know when you have a lot of um a lot of spitters and stuff it's really rough and worms okay let's keep on going but again really pays to pay attention to what you've got with your spider trons because they can get damaged in a hurry oh boy this is thick as well this whole thing oh we got one in yellow health already run 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 help oh boy oh boy oh boy okay all right that was scary let's run off here and heal up and check uh reserves oh wow yeah it's because we don't have any more rockets that's the bad thing okay no more rockets let's heal up that one spider tron it's at yellow now Oof. okay never do without rockets rockets are good we need rockets so this one is still trying to go in automatic how are we doing over here? Did we fix it, guys? Yo? Looks like there's still a break in the track here. A bit? Or something? Hello? Why is this not fixing? Why is it not doing anything? Maybe the Spider-Tron, is it, did it run out of, um, oh my gosh, I'm not in the Spider-Tron. No! Oh no. Help. <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I'll, you know what? I'll leave the spider tron there. Let's leave the spider tron there. Uh, I'm going to take the train. <laughs> That's faster. I'm just going to take this train. Let's go. Okay. Let's go as far as we can. Which is going to kind of be there, I think. And then we'll be able to, I don't know why I have no things. Hmm. Why also did a lot of the, why did so many rails get in my system in the trash slots? I'm not really understanding why they're in the trash slots. Like we were just at the base. We didn't pick any rail up. Hmm. I don't really understand that. I have to say, I do not get it. Did this run out of rails? Does Spidertron not have rails? Oh, it doesn't. Oh dear. Here, you take these. Take all this stuff. Take all the things and all the stuff. Please? One more. That's a go. There we go. Okay, so let's take um, take these out and just put in the legs on this. Oh, whoops. Legs. Okay, go. I should have taken the train home. It would have been faster. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, we're all, we're getting there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, we do need to check on the other ones. All right, it is really time for this poor Spider-Tron to, to come. You know what? I'll bring it home one last. And you know what? No, I'm not going to bring it home one last time. I think what we're going to do. Yeah, we should. We should. All right, let's bring it home one last time. Okay. Uh, is that working? It is working. Okay, good. Uh, and then go over there. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make a base station that loads a train with um, Spider-Tron missiles and stuff. And maybe what we do, maybe we make it this train, the, the military train, or we can make it the fuel train as well. That uh, would also be workable. Um kind of wanted something more directed. Let's see. The wall repair train. I think the wall repair train would be a good one to load these missiles and stuff in there. Um, oh, I'm already here. Hooray. Fantastic. Fantastic. So let's go out here and let's see. So building train should be loaded now with blue belt and stuff. Good, good. And I think I need to get rid of the blue, uh, the um, red belt. Okay. And we'll go only to blue belt. I think we have enough stuff now for all that. So there we go. Let's have like 500 blue belt. Okay. And that and that. That's perfect. Okay, good, good. Okay, I'm here. Good. Very good. I got a little bit discombobulated there. Okay. The reason I get out of the Spider-Tron, by the way, I hate the wobbling movement. I, I can't deal with it. It just doesn't make sense to me, and I, I don't function well with that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have a... Let's 
three, four, five. I don't know how many we need, but we need, are we getting repair packs? We're getting repair packs. That is good. So we'll put in a thing that is going to request lots and lots of rockets, I think. So let's get a this and we'll request these rockets. Explosive rockets. I should make atomic bombs. No, I shouldn't make atomic bombs. <laughs> I shouldn't. Those are not good to have inside Spider-Trons, I think. I think that would be very dangerous. All right, let's get lots. Oh, no. Go away. Copy, paste. I don't know how that happened. That was weird. Okay, there we go. So these, we're going to request... How many, let's see, I think it's 200 in a stack. So if we have 40 things times 200 is 8,000, I believe. So 8,000 divided by six is several. Let's go 1,200 or something or 1,250. 1,300 rockets each. That sounds reasonable. Uh, right, okay, copy. Actually, I don't need to copy this. I can just copy this thing and paste down there. And then do we, I think we edit this one so that it doesn't, um, also, yes, we can request from buffer chests, copy, paste. Let's go in our spider tron and go out there, uh, to the, um, thingy place. Oh, oh, can't get there. There we go. Well, we have lots of bots working on stuff now. Fantastic. Okay, getting out of here. Let's do a thing where we only request like, I don't know, 800 or something here. I think this is a good spot to be, um, you know, uh, basically loading the builder Spider-Tron. I think that's a good spot for that. Now that actually may change when maybe we make a spider Tron station here too. I think what we need to do is just make a station here and that is going to be for loading the spider Trons as well as loading the, the building spider Tron. I think that's a good idea. Yes. Okay. Very good. So, or maybe I just load it at, um, at this place over here, maybe we just load it over there and call that good and make this builder thingy over here as well. I could actually tune that second thing to unload rockets as well. Or maybe, maybe we put it on the other side, like have, have a set of chests on this side so it doesn't interfere with all of these other things. Cause we don't want, well, actually we could overload these chests a little bit. We could put a thousand missiles in there. It wouldn't hurt at all. I think maybe we do that. Let's do that. So how is this going? If this one goes there, I think we need to, okay, it's got six. That's great. Six is fantastic. Jeez. I think what we might need to do is have a belt. All right. And you are going to go, you go here. Um, building train inactivity and time passed. Yes. Okay. Oh boy. Um, hmm. I think, I think it might do, yeah. Cause like having these in chests is certainly not ideal. Can I, I can do a thing. Okay. Let's do the thing then. Let's do our thing. Also, let's go ahead and shove some of the things why do we still have so much trash? Why have the bots not taken this trash from me? This is so weird. Uh, we need some of this for sure. Okay. And then we get what? Are we out of storage? No, we shouldn't be out of storage. It should be fine. Um, let's find the, the thingy maker. Where is it? It's down here. There it is. Okay. Yep. Take all the stuff, please. And then I want another spider Tron. I do. I want it. 
I want a Spider-Tron. Oh, we have a reactor, but not a, a Spider-Tron. Do we have one? Almost. Almost. I guess we wait till that one comes up. It might soon, though, because we just put in some things in the thing, so it made a new reactor. All right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's keep on going and make that belt for the, the thing here. Let's see. We can use a red belt, actually, uh, for this to go. At least transport it most of the way across the base, even uh, if not completely over. But red is good because we just are deleting a lot of red stuff from our inventory here. A lot of red belts. But we can actually have these rockets loading into the train automatically. Okay, so that's a new belt. Good. Okay. So this belt is going to come down this way. All right. This is just doing the very sort of like, I don't know. No, 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 what happened? Oh, I hate that switcher thing. Did that, did that not get turned off? I thought I turned off that shortcut because that is like the most evil shortcut ever. I absolutely hate it. Oh no. Nine, 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 nine. Oh my God. Just, just doing the, the sort of like very basic movements of stuff and let's go over there and get the other stuff going I wonder how many rockets we've made I'm kind of curious now okay so what I'm going to do here is do a this okay and this is going to go away this is going to go like that Okay, and I think we can copy this kind of. So we need to delete one, two, three, and then this, and then do this. Okay, perfect. So at some point we're gonna we're gonna just kind of balance the belts here with this as well. Okay. So that we get you know the belt being fed on both sides instead of just one. Oh whoops! No! Dang it! Bots, why are you not taking stuff from me? Wow, we have zero logistics bots. Holy crap. Uh, looks like we need to change that one a tiny bit. Yeah, this this will help definitely the logistics bots because um, right now this is a mess and a half right now. Not at all happy about this situation. All right, let's see. We are getting more Logi bots. Also, we're going to take off this one. And that can go away as well. Right, my inventory is full. Dang it. Too much stuff. Too much stuff. All right, let's put this stuff in some kind of recycling. Let's do that. We can... Um, See, we're going to turn off logistics for now and then we can put in some of the things that need to go into these different boxes wow a lot of these are full why are they full that's really strange because like the one with the wood that should be requesting wood and all right fine we'll put in the these guys
This I hate. I wish that there was an interface where you could see your trash and put the trash into a box. That I never understood why that works that way. It's such a dumb way of working or not working as the case may be. Okay, and these rockets need to go as well. I don't need any rockets, so those will go out. There we go. But yeah, it looks like we need more wood recycling. Let me look at our logistics network. Wow, we have so much iron ore. Oh, iron ore is at the train station. Okay, so 13,000 wood? That's terrible. Solid fuel also can be requested on the line there. Um, stone, 18,000 stone. That is not ideal. I think we are going to request, because the railroad, rail, rail tracks are obviously not using enough stone, so I want to request it on the brick line. See if we can use that instead. So I want to see where, let's see, the stone is coming in here. Oh, wow, this is definitely not getting enough request. Um, yeah, let's make this a requester chest for stone. And we'll just do 5,000 stone in there. That should help relieve our stone problems. Also, that, that this means we really need to get more um, stone mining. We need to set up an outpost for that because this is just really dwindling at this point. So where is this stuff going? I think, okay, this thing is a provider chest. I think we can make this a buffer chest um, and then have things request or not request from buffer chests. I think that is a good idea. Let's request some buffer chests because I don't have any. At least I don't think I have any buffer. Yes, good, good. Do I have any uh, I don't have any purple chests either. Actually, this one could be stamped down as a buffer anyway. And then we have some that like this one can request from buffers. Also, the other fuel train can request from buffers. Let's get the other fuel train. Where is it? It is, is it this one? I think it's this one. We haven't actually set this one up yet. Uh, oh, okay. Wow, they are... They are here. Okay. We'll do this request from buffers for solid fuel. And we'll get like 500 or something like that. I forget if it's 50 in a, in a square or what. I Oh, it is 50. Okay, so I want to also have... Solid fuel has got to be on my list here somewhere. Here it is. We want to have 50 and then get rid of the coal. Because um, I don't really want coal anymore when we can have solid fuel. It's a much more efficient fuel source. So let's see. Let's keep one set of those. Okay, that's great. So these, we're going to do a request from buffer chests, right? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to do a thing where we're not requesting from buffer chests which is going to be the um, putting it back on the line from the storage chests. I think that's a good idea. So that is going to be a thing here. These are going to request only from storage and not from the buffer. So we won't have a circular problem there with stuff. But we got to get this solid fuel out of the system. I hate having too much stuff in storage because that means we're just not using it and it's not good. So here we go. Let's get this. Get like 500. Not buffered. Good. Okay. Great. Phew. Okay. Phew. That was a thing to do. Um, now, now we want to go out and, and we need to configure this station to get the rockets and stuff. Um, so that we can, we can start making more progress down there.
Wait, let's check on another Spider-Tron. I think we should probably have one by now. I hope we would. Requesting Spider-Tron to come near me. Alright, it's a little bit faster to walk. There we go. Alright. So, can we make a new Spider-Tron? Please? Yes! Ha ha! We can! Alright, so let's get things that we need. Clonk, clonk. And then... Clonk, clonk. Wait, did we need two legs? I forgot. One, two, four... Okay, let's just start putting these things in. Put this one here. We need our two batteries there. And then our lasers. We don't need the fifth one because that one belongs on our Spider-Tron, remember? And then we need one leg. I think it's... Oh, it is one. Okay, it's not two. And then we need the personal laser devices. One, two, three, four. Right, what? No. Nope. No, we don't. We need shields. Whoops. We need the shields instead. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's what we need. Okay. And those can go in here. Excellent. So again, we go through this esoteric process. Let's shift right click to reset. Click this and then let's go. Let's walk together. Let's do the together walking. Nice. We're going to go here. All right. And then... Shift right click to reset. Which one is the one everybody follows? Oh God, I should have done that first. Okay, that's not the one. All right. Let's see this one. Is it you? No. Ah! Okay, it's this one then. So shift, which one is it? Shift left click? No, control left click. Control. All right, following that one. This is such a pain in the socks to get them to do this. My my fault for not setting this one first. Okay, there we go. Now we have more stuff. Hooray. But one of these has no anything. So you go and click over there and get the... Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. Not that stuff, please. We just want to have the other stuff. Now this is a good death squad. This is fantastic. But we don't actually have a lot of ammo, which is unfortunate. So we need to go and get that train. Actually, they probably need to load at the train station. So we're going to go down there and start loading. Um, we don't actually have anything to load with yet. Um, so that's going to be a bit interesting. But that's okay. Let's go down there on the Spider-Tron ourselves. Way down, all the way over there. And I guess I can start building some stuff while we're traveling. Um, this thing can be moved. This thing deleted. And we need to get filter inserters. I think what we do here, we can even do very simplistic kind of things where... Yeah, we need filter inserters for sure. But do we, do we send signals? Maybe, maybe we send signals um, to the thing. Let's get the combinator here. Okay, and then we need the arithmetic combinator there. And we'll hook all that up once we get down there. And make sure that we know what we're, we're wanting here. But so far it's going pretty darn well. We can also build the... Did we use efficiency down here? I forgot. Oh, and we have no... Ugh. We have no radars. This is very sad. Very sad. Can't see what we're doing. Help. Help. Put a radar out here as well. Oh, and this is also not connected. Oh, because of this, we need to... Oh, gosh. I removed the power pole. And, of course, it needs power for the robots to function. Imagine that. Imagine that. All right. Well, we are on our way and we're going to get all this stuff sorted in the next episode because we suddenly have no more time to do anything. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.